Hello everyone and welcome back to Why are you telling my business? And Lord, the business need to be told Especially on this show Because I just don't know what was going on tonight I was like, I'm finna exit out <laughs> That's what I'm finna do Because Dennis was cutting up Portia always cutting up um the cousins was cutting up the cousins was fussing at one another then they were bringing out voodoo hoodoo uh crystal channeling conjuring drums beating something i don't know what i was watching tonight okay it was a hot mess it was it was messier than one and two and this is season one episode three and i'm like all of y'all need to divorce each other and never come back in each other's presence because it's a hot mess. Now, Lon Lundy and Lauren, they were trying their best to try to, I think they really want Dennis to be back with Portia. But Dennis just can't get with some of Portia's family, meaning her mom's side, okay? It seems like he's pretty cool with uh lauren's side of the family meaning portia's dad's side okay i wouldn't be surprised if portia and i'm not portia but um lauren and dennis hooked up it wouldn't be far it's plausible trust me but the some of the stuff dennis do on this episode is creating much much more drama because he's inviting a guest to come and spend some time with him while he's in, in Mexico. But they're calling it Mexico. Alright. But that's for next week. From what I'm understanding. But Portia was too fit to be tied. When her sister and cousin. Led the way to take some of Dennis's artifacts from her house. He had been asking for that robe. That Versace robe. And he wanted it back. And some furs or heels and some, um, what was it? A Fendi, a Fendi jumpsuit or something like that. Don't really know. And it's just written all over this episode. Portia still wants Dennis. And to me, it seems like she is just using Simon as bait. Okay, I'm just saying. But if the mama, grandmama, and aunt on Portia mama side have anything to do with it they gonna be like leave Dennis alone and marry this African so when well, not African Nigerian so we can live happily ever after because I'm trying to tell y'all where is Diane's house do she still have it because it seems like she's functioning more over on Portia house than she is her own but I just want to go in on Diane. I'm telling you, Diane, she, she has got me too fit to be tied. And I have no more use for her. Okay, now I see where Portia gets her mess from. I knew it had to be hereditary. This Diane of a mother, or lack of a mother, I should say, has taught this girl how to be a scammer, scheme, and you will be on top just as long as you mess with the right millionaire or billionaire. And evidently, Diane didn't get too far, but she gave Portia some of the tricks of the trade. And I wouldn't be surprised if Grandmama didn't have a hand in it, too. And it seemed like they all up into that um, spiritual healing that comes from conjuring up spirits and stuff. And if I were Dennis, I would run. <laughs> I will run, run, run. And I did not know that lady in the middle was actually, uh, what do you call it, Lauren's mom. Okay. And I'm like, so we got Dennis's parent, which is his mama, Gina. Okay. And she's doing what she got to do to make her son uh, look good and not letting them put him down every, try to, every ch chance they get. And Diane over there trying to play the fence like her crazy daughter. But she crazy is as crazy does. So we're going to call Diane crazy too. Because, honey, why you want your daughter to be having two men? Okay, we don't care about blended families or whatever. Because Simon don't care about you. Are y'all blending in with his family? I don't think so. Okay, not from what I've seen thus far. He ain't bringing his uh, children around. Y'all dysfunctional selves. But Diane is a, a very petty. Diane is very self-centered. 
Diane throws stones and tries to hide her hands. What I mean by that particular thing, she's sitting over there talking to Simon. And I did a video about uh, Portia over there cooking with some kitchen gloves and stuff. And on this episode that they kind of chopped up, same episode I was talking about, her mama ain't washed her hands. She could have been picking her nose, digging up her ass. I don't scratch her titties, okay? I didn't see one time Diane went up there to wash her hands before she started messing with that plantain, okay? And as she was cutting up plantain, Simon just strolled his little cell phone in there and, and called himself and get some camera time. And, you know, Portia was uh, saying that she wanted... Uh, the um the the men to come on the trip which that's something lauren didn't specify she said it was a women's trip and then diane was saying yeah it's supposed to be a women's trip how are we getting men involved so Portia was going around saying well you know they need we're gonna blend this family we need everybody on on deck no you don't no you don't you have them here at a special occasions like the, the baby girl birthday her christening her graduations her coming out party uh, if she's going to be a debutante or something to that degree, that's when you have all this splendid stuff. But, no, you don't have to have all that. Dennis don't have to partake in any of that because he can have his own celebrations over there with Mama Gina and her side of the family. But it, it, it was just doing too, too, too much. But going back to Miss Diane, she's going to tell Portia, oh, tell uh, Simon what your ideas was for the retreat. Okay. And then she go in there stuttering, carrying on like she ain't got no sense. I ain't even making no eye contact. So you just right there, you know something was up with that. But Simon gonna be like, well, okay, yeah, you're talking about blending families. And they were just together this past December uh, in the top of the year. Portia hiding robes. And no, she really didn't hide it because she had it upstairs when La Lundy and um, Lauren was upstairs trying to find all his stuff. Okay. She had it all out in her makeup dressing room, just on the back of her chair. Like, what's going on, honey? What is going on? Let that man go. Because he ain't going to never forget about his daughter. He's going to take care of his daughter. He just don't like being played, you know, both sides. And uh, Lauren is definitely bringing it out on Portia that she's doing just that. And she's letting um, Portia know, like, that ain't right. I don't like it. He don't like it. We don't like it. You need to get it together. And grandmama over there, she trying to say, you know, baby, I know you're a cheater. My son was a cheater. <laughs> she said, but, you know, do you still love Porsche? Do you want Porsche? Because it, it, um, it ain't finished until y'all say it's finished. Y'all still could be together. I'm like, what grandmama drunk? Well, she drunk. And this y'all lady right here is supposed to be Porsche's assistant. Okay? She assisted the getaway of that robe that belongs to Dennis, of course. And his Fendi jumpsuit and two furs. And Portia got too upset. And let me tell you how messy her past assistant was. His name is Nate. And if y'all was watching this uh, story unfold tonight, um, that was a past assistant of uh, Portia. And he was trying to say, what what, what they got me toting her baby ex uh, robe for? And then that's how Portia called herself noticing. But you know this shit is all scripted. She probably knew what, what was going on anyway. But Portia was having a fit. Like who came who came in my house and stole stuff out of my house? And I'm like, well, Dennis wanted his stuff that was his and you refused to give it to him. Which I'm like, man, I would have got me a court order. I would have been able to come over here and get what I needed to get. Because Portia going to make a, a, a big deal out of it regardless. And that sister... Uh, which is Portia's aunt right there in that little alligator or reptile type shirt, blue and light blue. She's just as bad. And she looks just as evil as well. Just as evil. It's almost like they just want to get into the Nigerian family so they can probably uh, get them a Nigerian man. And I'm like, this is just too freaking much. Okay. But like I said, Diane was going talking to Simon about it. And Simon was like, oh, hospitable. Yeah, I like Dennis. Then Dennis ain't, didn't, didn't, didn't do nothing to me too far. And, you know, and Diane said, well, I don't know because uh, his mother is, you know, pretty much she was saying she was getting on her nerves, lying on her, and she didn't want to be bothered with her. She didn't like how her uh, 
But then his mom got on her mom. I'm like, if you had something to say, Diane, why you ain't say it then and there? You know why? Because you're a coward. Okay, because anybody I felt the disrespect to my mama, I'm going to like, hold up, wait a minute, flag on play. Uh, What did you say? And we're going to handle that right then and there and let the cookies fall, you know, wherever they may. You know what I'm saying? But she didn't. She kept on my mouth hush hush. Like, because you're scared, Diane. You're scared. Just like you're scared of Lauren's mom sitting at that table because she replaced you with your ex-husband. Now, ain't that a, ain't that a bitch, okay? Girl, she had two women at her table that could have been sewing her up, but... Mama Gina was doing just fine. Yes, she was. She was doing just fine. And I was like, okay, go ahead. And the stupidity. We can see where Portia's stupidity comes from. Right down there at her mama. Right. You just lay the, the uh, all that Portia we're seeing on Portia. She inherited. That's her mama up and down. And her mama's trying to live through Portia because she didn't get what she thought she should have got through the Jose Williams family. Okay, the man she was married to. Because he left her and went to Lauren's mama. Okay, until he died. All right, so he was at home. He knew where he wanted to be and it wasn't with Diane. I'm like, Diane, would you doing some hoodoo voodoo shit going over there, girl? Were you practicing somebody else's culture? Trying to keep a man, trying to get a man, trying to steal a man. I see. Yep, that young lady over there to the right. That's Lauren's mom. That's uh Portia's daddy wife that was, you know, in his life and he had took up a whole new family. Raising Lauren and all that good stuff, having a good old time. While your mom and you were out to pasture, I don't know. Feeling bad about yourself. Because we don't know what Diane did to make that man leave. And I'm not saying it. You know, because I'm just looking on the outside, looking in. She probably didn't do nothing. You know, maybe she stopped trying to do something for the man. You know, because it's always two sides to a story. And, and, and um, the truth is right there in the middle. Okay. So, I'm just going on what I see. And it seems like it's a train wreck. And it's a train wreck on how Portia was brought up. Because it seems like it's a great big divide. And the William side of the family, meaning Portia's dad's side and Portia's mama's side. Portia's mama's side is being displayed as they're totally materialistic. They want to be a monster who's who. They want to float with all the thoroughbreds of the elite echelon type of people individuals that roll in atlanta and any other, any other other states out there okay that's why she sunk her claws into jose williams son and made a baby and far as it's kept quiet as it's kept loud as i'm gonna speak it she probably got pregnant before marriage okay because that seemed to be what portia doing and like i said the apple don't fall too far from the tree honey Diane was a a garden tool, okay? A garden tool. All right, but anyway, um, and I I believe Diane is a coward because um, you know she probably was just like I said materialistic. She wanted everything. She wasn't being a good uh homemaker because she probably wanted to look good, didn't want to do nothing. Such so as Portia, you know what I'm saying? And as quiet as a kid, I was on speaking out. A lot of people on YouTube have seemed to fear that Portia just wanted to be a killed woman. That's what I hear. Now, I don't know how true it is, but Portia didn't have jobs, okay? And when this Simon character came in, all the jobs went out the window. With hopefully a pass to come back. That's what I'm hoping for, Portia. Because like I said, stupid is stupid does. And if she's hanging around her mama and her mama, her mama has taught her this and then her aunt is doing this. Where they go for the men like groupies and then they end up with someone with money. Then, you know, they think it, they done hit a whole wrong. Like the whole family going to be blessed by this catch of the day. And I'm like, child. And Dennis was just giving us tease that. Portia Williams, mama side of the family, is absolutely bonkers. They're crazy. And he don't want to have really too much to do with it. And the only reason why he came on the trip, he said it out of his own mouth. He got to watch out for his mama. Because he don't know how they going to come at her and ain't shit going to happen to his mama. So like I said, he may be a mama's boy from the aesthetics of it, the optics of the optics optics that we're looking at. But he seems like a solid gentleman when it comes to what he gonna do when it comes to his mama you know what i'm saying just like you know everybody's gonna fight for their mama if they felt they were a good mom they raised them appropriate 
appropriately and they were there for them, then, you know, you're going to go hard for the ones you love. But I'm like, it just seems like it's a very, very big disconnect. And Dennis can't stand the fact that, you know, um, certain people feel a certain way about him, especially Portia's cousin called Stormy. She's she is alleging that Dennis tried to talk to her and she wasn't giving him no play, so he fired her. So I'm like, okay, uh, when did you start? You know, and, and from my understanding, he knew Stormy, which is Portia Williams' cousin on her mama's side, before he knew Portia. So. Could that be a plausibility that Dennis, you know, because she is a looker and, you know, she's kept herself well maintained. So I'm not going to say yay and I'm not going to say no. You know what I'm saying? It's like, let me think about this for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Dennis is a womanizer, but I can't. You know, I can't really say he ain't truthful with these women, like, telling them up front, you know, hey, it is what it is. You know, I like women. And I think I would be a fair betting woman to say Dennis kind of gives them the impression that you're not the only one I'm messing with. You know, let's just have a good time. Let's just see where it go. da 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 da, da. You know, that's my take I get on him. Uh but, yeah, it seems like, you know, Portia was up there telling her mama. But Miss Gina says, you said this about me, mama. And then she said, well, she's a bald face that lie. And she said, if I was a swearing one, i like, just shut up. Just shut up, Diane. Just shut up, okay? Because you ain't about that life. That's why I said, I think Portia got fighting from her daddy. Don't ask me why. Maybe because I see no fight in uh, Miss Diane. Because Miss Diane sitting up here and letting folks talk about her mama. Then she, uh somebody you know allegedly is lying on her and she don't want to confront them because she was supposed to be on this trip but lo and behold guess what she called herself not coming oh she woke up with a bad spasm and all that and i was to get your spasm ass i'm coming with the bengay i'm coming with the rubbing alcohol that green rubbing alcohol we're gonna take you a bath and you're gonna get up here because we're gonna face this this truth because i want to know who's saying what why they're saying it so i can stop cutting checks you know what i'm saying and find me a babysitter if my own mama going against me telling my dirt you know what i'm saying whoo like my charade voice who gonna check me boo but we would have found out who were lying by the body language and the eye contact and if mama dearest was sitting up there lying mama dearest gonna have a conversation off camera okay and we might be estranged for a few minutes or so but anyway let's go on into the actual uh factual things that i saw that i took notes on that i wanted to say something about okay but that man right there he crazy and evil as hell because one one uh face he gonna say well yeah let's blend let's blend it on the other side he gonna say oh but i don't like dennis uh you know we need to be you know we need to be blending but why do we have to have dennis here i'm like dummy nut you supposed to be a businessman and you can't add up that that is pj's dad and you're going to be her stepdad. And you don't think y'all need to have a rapport. But child, I'm like, ooh, I uh-uh, can't. But the whole, uh, what do you call it, episode centered around Portia still wanting to have control of her ex, uh, baby daddy. And she want to be able to keep some memorabilia of him in the house with her, which is sick. It's very sick and satanic. You know, I'm like, are you praying on this man's clothes for this uh, situation where he can come back and fall back in love with you? Girl, what are you doing? If it's his shit, give him his shit. You said you don't move down romantically. You have no more, more romantic, romantic, romantically feelings for him. Then just stop it. And see, well, you got a crazy mama sitting up right there. You know, I'm like, is that a hookah? thing back there <laughs> but you got mama gina to check her and portia together simultaneously she can shit shit down and i appreciate it. i pre she should up there living like she and queen um somebody but it's okay she can act she's that age it's okay but yeah she stood up there and told Portia. your mama told me that shit your mama said that and it kind of got dennis heated too because he like we need to find this stuff out because they're going on here to mom cheat and then she telling you that her daughter cheated we need to get that out on the table too and you know like i said there ain't nothing but a clown right there a, a full face made up clown that can't face her actions 
One moment she rooting for Dennis, the next minute she rooting for Simon. I'm like, my, 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 you a double-minded woman, okay? And this too shall not stand. So that's why Portia is the way she is, okay? She can't help it. But, you know, like I said, you know better, you do better. But Lauren's going to definitely sit there and referee it all and tell you, uh, yeah, we ain't going to let that happen because I like Dennis. And Dennis need to be with his baby. And whether y'all get it together or not, Simon don't need to be with y'all. And uh, enlisting the help of Lundy, <laughs> it might just happen. Because I tell you, Lundy is something else. She's on that um, Jose Williams side, okay? Uh, Aunt Lee is her brother. Yes, uh, she's on that side of the family. And she ain't taking no mess from poor. She like, girl, you don't like you. Girl, don't nobody like Simon. Where you coming with all this? And then Stormy, the uh, cousin on um, Portia's mama's side, she trying to get up. Like she got balls or something. She trying to boss up, standing up at the table. And London saying, girl, sit yourself down. You ain't trying to do that. I'm like, girl, yeah, please sit down. Because London will sit on you and take all your energy and your air out of you. <laughs> all at one time, okay? And I ain't just saying it because she's sad. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm heavy set myself. We're luxurious. I like to call us both. All right, but you gonna mess with somebody that got that type of weight over you and then she looked like she could she could swing you from here to there and hang you from the chandelier and leave you there okay girl no ma'am the sword the lord <coughs> i don't know where miss stormy was getting her actions from and dennis was like she trying to play too much she trying to be like portia and just that portion mini me i'm like okay we seeing something ain't right in that milk, but we ain't going to touch that one. Because you got too much going on, Dennis, already with them two uh, Medusas. Okay. Jezebel spirits right there. Because they just want to uh, do a ritual where they just sell Portia off to the highest bidder. And right now, it says to be uh, Mr. Simon. Okay. It's G running around now. But we don't know because people in the YouTube community swear he ain't got no money. Okay. Everything he's using, he leasing. Okay, no company, no employees, no businesses, but he keeps going down to Costa Rica. And I already told y'all what I felt about Costa Rica, what he keep going down there for. So, those who seen that video, go check it out. If you hadn't, then ain't no sense of me regurgitating. All right, but uh, we got Lauren. Uh, she's in her home or her mom's home or they both share a home. I have no idea. This is the first time I'm seeing it. She's on her knees praying. I'm guessing she, her God is Buddha or uh, some type of, uh, I don't know. She was just at an altar in a sense and she was just praying. And I'm like, that's where you get down, boo, do you? But then Lundy comes over trying to, you know, check things out. Trying to talk to Lauren about uh, the barbecue and the comes and goings and what was going on and both sides. And of course, you know, Lundy gone. Uh, be like her side is the best side on the west side on the east side okay here in atlanta uh, and that's the jose williams side the activist side the advocate the feed the hungry folk you know what i'm saying good pillar of society here in atlanta okay she's on that side of the fence and she laughing and kicking and going off on um portia's mama side like they uncouth they they not from good stock and this that you can see it all over it and i'm like ooh, child how poor she's gonna see and feel about lundy and her uh we call it speculations of her mom's side of the family when she gets time to preview you know preview this because everybody's just making a fool out of Porsche. everybody so i wonder if they getting paid because she means she might need to stop some checks running around now but anyway um <coughs> London so much calls them goes into that and says Portia's mama side of the family are country bunkins I'm like oh my lord no she didn't hit it below the belt because I'm just telling you right here and right now when you're in Georgia it's clay city it's clay land honey this ain't nothing but country rural okay but not to say these folks ain't got money because you go down 20 east to a coney and all that, all that yeah you got some rich folks down there and you could you call them country all you want to but they got boats and they got land and they got uh places where they can take them boats and sell on if you give them a drip okay but you know i don't know where she got that country bunk because everybody got a country and i don't care where you at it's some parts and in every state that has a country feel to it okay and I, i'm down home country 
probably got an accent to some folks, but you know I'm proud of where I come from, okay, and who I am, all right? So I need London to check herself on that situation, calling people country bunkers and stuff. Like she Miss Hollywood running around now. I ain't never heard of her and never seen her to this show. Okay, so what'd that tell you? What'd that tell you, London? Portia is putting you on, but after she sees this review, <laughs> she might have held you in high standards in regards uh, before this show, but she may feel a little different afterwards, baby. Okay, but then um, uh, Lauren brings out her mom, and she's telling her mom, you know, what was going on, and her mom is putting her two cents in. I said, oh, that's the lady that Portia daddy left her mama, Diane, for. Okay, okay. She ain't pretentious. She just seems like she's a lovable, well rounded, well head. We call it, um, we call it, um, when somebody's got that good head on their shoulder. Well, hell, I just said it, so I couldn't think of the word that I was gonna use while I'm taking this video. But, uh, I can say she has a good head on her shoulder. She speaks pleasantly, she, you know, she comes off warmly. So I kind of like her, and I can see why, uh, Portia daddy traded her mama in for her. I can see why. And she don't seem like she's materialistic and pretentious. You know what I'm saying? She just seems like she can get with everybody. Whatever you give her, she gonna give it back to you. So, I, you know, I'm like, I, I put her and Gina in the same boat as a good stop. But, uh, moving on from there. Uh, Linda is telling, um, both, um, uh, Lauren's mom and Lauren that she feels Dennis got hurt at the barbecue. She didn't like how things went down. And, uh, you know, everybody was just acting shady on Portia's mama's side of the family. And, you know, she just said if it was her, she would have left. And I'm, I'm right with her. I'm right with her. I would have left Mexico for this, um, this uh, review I'm giving. I would have took the next plane smoking up out of there. I was like, Mama, we got to go. We, we can't deal with this. This is too much, okay? We got a business to run. We can't have people looking at us like we crazy, okay? But I'm telling you, Dennis and his mom is holding it down. Because this is the third episode. And to me, they ain't coming out looking like they, they fools. Not them. They coming out smelling like carnations. <laughs> okay? Daffodils. They coming out smelling good. All right, and ain't gonna be no uh salt thrown on their business name and how they conducting themselves because they ain't looking like no fool. Uh uh, they shut shit down every time they get a chance to. Okay, but going uh to the next thing, uh, we got Porsche's uh is talking about the robe uh situation and why Dennis want his robe back. I'm like. Because everybody done saw it and said it's his. Why cannot? Why he cannot have his property back? Okay? So, Portia's just doing a little bit too much. Then we have Portia. She's over there cooking PJ some breakfast. Uh, and she doesn't have gloves on, people. Now, what was the whole fiasco of her cooking Simon breakfast and she had on gloves? But her mama's damn sure didn't have on none, helping her, assisting her, being her sous chef, and she ain't wash not a damn hand. Okay, we don't know if she was scratching her butt, itching on her arms, or picking through her nose, okay? But we know for one thing for a fact, she didn't go to that, um, what do you call it? She didn't go over there to that sink and wash her hands prior to prepping those plantains to go into that fire okay um let me see uh then we have a scene where lundy and uh lauren go into portia house and they're asking uh her assistant her new assistant to um try to play like you know keep portia away from noticing that they're entering the home and just that third keep her busy why they doing their uh spy stuff and stealing stuff unbeknownst to Portia at the time and I'm like as long as um Lauren been on the show and I ain't knocking nobody's cars don't get me wrong don't get me wrong I understand why Lauren was driving around in a Hyundai I mean I'm like uh you working for Portia you being shown on this show so I know they got to be cutting you a check uh Lauren why you driving in that car girl it's paid for girl I just want to know. I just want to know. Because Porsche run around here in these Mercedes, these Mercedes Benz uh, cars, luxury cars. And she got a Land Rover truck. This, that, and third. God knows what her mama was driving. 
uh, she didn't pay you enough long where you could uh, ride a little nicer than that Hyundai. I'm just saying, girl. I'm just saying. Do you, girl, all day. I just thought it was weird for you to be a part of um, Porsche's entourage for so long. And you pushing something like that. But, okay. Moving on from there. Um, okay, I talked about that. But um, Diane, she was still feeling some kind of way about Miss Gina talking about her mom. Like, you had the perfect opportunity to express your ill will towards her about that situation when you had the opportunity. But you did. You did. So, shut up. I don't hear nothing about that. Okay, then we got um, Lundy and um, Lauren meeting um, Dennis at Crew Lounge or something like that. He was sitting there having drinks probably mean girls and doing everything but they walk in with a proposition for him to come to mexico and he told me this is gonna be mexico there ain't gonna be no mexico and then they said we invited your mom she said she come he said what i'll check out that but i i can't confirm or deny that i'm gonna be there i just take it as a possibility but thank you for bringing my stuff i appreciate it and they moved on they said well you ain't gonna get it until we know you're coming we're gonna bring your robe and anything else that you said you left over there but we just need you I think they gave him a fur, one of his furs, but they kept their Versace to the very end. Till he came on that trip, which he didn't want to go. He wasn't going to let his mama go out like that. Okay, so he brought his behind on. And then we had, um, what do you call it? They was calling themselves being taken uh, in little uh, traveling vans. And then they ended up in uh, limousines and stuff like that. So I'm like, did Simon pay for that? Did it come out your... Uh, your, your bank account. I just want to know, girl. Because y'all ride nice. Y'all ride nice. But they were in two separate cars. We had Portia and Simon. And would have been her mom, I'm sure. But it was Darlene, uh, her mom's uh, sister. And um, who else was over there? Oh, uh, shoot. I can't. Think. Nate. And, you know, of course, baby PJ. And I think uh, her cousin. Uh, what's her name? Smoky. No, I want to Smoky. Stormy. Okay, Stormy. Then on the other, uh, van, they had, uh, Jose Williams' daughter, Liz, Elizabeth. They had Lauren, her mother, her daughter, and Dennis and Gina. And, you know, they were just, you know, riding, carrying on, talking about this, that, and the third. And, uh, I was very surprised that Gina was sitting up there having a conversation with uh Portia Williams' dad side of the family. I said, okay, girl, I see, I see. But before then, they was in, uh, her and Dennis was in a store buying crystals. And uh, she said, do y'all have some crystals to ward off evil or for fake people? And they said, yeah, yeah, yeah. She took them up to where these toes were that were black. And she said, I got one for Portia. I was like, oh, Lord. But it was just a hot mess because I don't get into all that crystallizing and stuff like that to get with the bible and i have to you know come and count and repent for my sins you know what i'm saying but all this foolishness with that dipping and dabbing in other people's religion and blowing smoke and hitting drums and and, and all this other stuff now nah, we can't do that we can't do it but uh you know dennis was trying to figure out what was going on he said i don't know about this you know this stuff it's kind of spooky and creepy to me so uh you know they were trying to make the playing field fair so he wasn't gonna let his mama go out like that so he said he'll go but child it was just a big old fiasco totally totally big big fiasco um this lady called herself getting some florida water for healing i was surprised that um what's her name uh elizabeth because she's a christian or she states to be a christian she's going around here clapping her hands three times and 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 dipping uh, her hands and rubbing them in that Florida water, which is supposed to be some healing water, from what I hear, and that's not the first time I heard that as well. But I'm like, see, they want to say you can't be mixing and matching religions and beliefs, and and say you you know you you on Christianity side because we don't believe in all of that. Okay, you pray, you get on your knees, and you, you manifest the Lord in your own way, spiritual way. You know what I'm saying? Cause we all spirits. Uh, under this meat suit that we're hanging in, or we holding up, I should say. And you know, I, I just didn't like it. I didn't like what Elizabeth was doing. I'm like, girl, uh, uh. But I saw Storm as an opportunist. 
she was going in on uh, London, uh, Landy, and Landy was shutting her down. It was just a hot mess. I don't know where the, where the karma to go on this situation. But I like, I, if it were me, I would get the hell out of there if I were Dennis. So I would just pay my child support, do what I got to do, and I'd be like, deuces. Because uh, that Medu what do you call it, Medusa-looking sister, and Diane, and, and the grandmama, all them some wicked folks. I don't care what nobody say. They're just, that's just too wicked for me. Okay, because they're doing too much. And, and they, then, of course, like I said, she can't help it. She was uh, spawned and raised by these folks. And this is just how they get down. They're going to go with the highest builder. Don't matter. Don't matter. And Portia don't got caught up in that web. And that's just how it's going to be. Because I don't understand how, you know, she thought she going to marry Simon. And Simon don't, she don't think Simon going to hold her to a contractual agreement. Meaning a prenup. But she thought she going to run all over Dennis. Uh, <laughs> not if Mama Jean is still living. Okay. But that's all I have for this video, guys. I hope y'all like it, love it, gotta have more. But it confused the shit out of me. I'm telling you, I was like, my mouth will open. I was like, well, what, what, what are we going here? It's just too many negative dynamics that I could talk about, okay? But uh, Portia ain't number little six kid. And she's gonna be sold to the highest builder because her mama, her grandmama, and her aunt gonna sell her out, okay? Sell out to the soul of the devil, okay? That's what's gonna happen. And that's just what Mr. Gabadi is probably there. To reap all those benefits and then when he get finished you're gonna leave a high and dry and it's a shame but like i said i want this portia talking about that in her book okay her lauren is broken too um and i think she's broken because she's trying to figure out why portia got so much success or what she thinks is success but this television show ain't no success okay i want to see portia represent tiffany and company you know she been a spokesperson like beyonce is up there doing you know big things with big companies they ain't gonna have porsche up there selling shit they well i'm gonna have her doing something okay because the only thing porsche is selling sex sex appeals sexuality and and and, and the highest bidder is she go to dubai and get strung out over there okay but that's all i got for this video guys hope you like y'all like it love it gotta have more Get down in those comments. Y'all know I like to come on down there with y'all and uh, view y'all perspective. Because sometimes they differ from what I feel. And I can see uh, certain, you know, points of interest that I didn't think about uh, when I was making my observation. And I love it. I love the dialogue between us. But don't forget to share and like my videos. And if y'all feel so inclined, please prescribe. Prescribe, Lord. I'm getting tired. Please subscribe to the channel. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.